Fanny Crosby, jumping up and down in jubilance, said, Praise God, praise God. Tell of God's excellent greatness. Praise God, praise God, ever in joyful song. Well, that is the moment-to-moment way that we should feel about God's presence in our lives. We should be absolutely thankful to God. In Psalms 100, verse 4 and 5, it says, Be thankful to God. Bless God's name. That means bless God's nature. For the Lord is good. God's mercy is everlasting. That means without end. And God's truth endures to all generations. It means what was true then is true now. In the Hebrew version of the Old Testament, the title of the book of Psalms, which we quote from so often in this ministry, do you know what that's translated as in 2014 language? It means, Psalms means, hymns of praise. And for good reason, much of this book is a breathtaking, beautiful collection of God's power, love, and creation. The psalmist wrote, Let everything that breathes praise the Lord, hallelujah. That is in Psalms 150, verse 6. We should continually praise God throughout our day for all that God has done, but more important, for all that God will do. God's works are marvelous, God's gifts are excitingly beautiful, and God's love, it endures forever. Do you sincerely desire to be a worshiper of the one who has given you eternal life, eternal love, and eternal joy? then meditate on God's marvelous works. Ponder God's promises and praise God. Now, not just on Sunday morning. So many people do it then, but all day long, every day, for as long as you live, you're going to find happiness this way. And then do it for all eternity. God bless you. And God already is, isn't God? It's time to say thank you.